everyone, we are at Recycle Karo. Recycle Karo is one of India's largest waste management companies. They use the best in class technology for extracting reusable resources from the waste materials. And they have more than 1200 touch points for collection of waste. at the factory where it all actually happens. So now let's speak to Rajesh, the director of the company, and ask him how do things operate here. Hello Rajesh. Hello. Please tell us about your process. See, the batteries you see here, this comes from the gadgets, mobile phones. Mm -hmm. So we have discharged these batteries and we have, it, these batteries are ready for recycling. Mm -hmm. Right. The equipments you see here, there are a series of equipments starting from shredders to pulverizers mm -hmm. to se se separators okay so the equipment you see here this this machine will take the batteries up it will go for shredding mm -hmm. then again it's go it goes for pulverizing here these batteries will be converted into small fine particles of 5 mm mm -hmm. okay again the light particles these batteries has light particles and heavy particles right. this light particles if you see this machine there out there the pipes right the pipes yeah the the plastics it goes here okay and it is collected in this machine yes the fine particles are collected in this machine okay then further it goes to there is a scrubber okay. which like the pollutants in this yeah. it extracts it collects all the pollutants and we scrub the pollutants and the clean air is left Mm -hmm. So this process, it's totally, it's environment friendly. And very nice. This separates metals and plastics. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there are various magnetic separators. So which separates all the steel, it separates all the steels. Mm -hmm. Then again, if you can see, this machine, which looks like an octopus, Right, <laughs> exactly like octopus. Yeah, this looks like like octopus. It can separate copper. This is copper aluminum in this. Mm, this is one yes, of I the output for the factory. Okay. And also we have black powder. Mm -hmm. This black powder will be sent again to a different process. Mm -hmm. There are series of same separation techniques over here, which does the same operation. Mm -hmm. This will give us copper aluminium and the black powder also if you can see this factory is equipped with all the equipments required for safety of our people and the environment as you can see there is ultraviolet filter there is a charcoal filter and there is also a self absorbent what does it do it will it will absorb all the spell it will absorb all the hazardous content in the batteries also, this pa this gets passed through ultraviolet rays. So, at the end, we get pure air. So, which means nothing is left in the environment. One thousand tons of steel, five hundred tons of aluminium, three hundred fifty tons of copper, and two hundred tons of plastic has been recycled here, and that makes recycle Karo one of the most responsible industry leaders. So here I am with Devi, who is the technology head, and he will take us through the chemical process over here. Hi, Devi. Hi, Anna. Uh, so uh, before we proceed, uh, this is what we are seeing out here. This is the hydrometallurgy unit. Uh, this is a chemical process. Uh, this comes after you know the last process that you saw is right. a is a mechanical unit. Uh, you, uh, the output of that is uh, blackish powder. Mm -hmm. uh, it contains uh, come. With, go. Yes. Uh, the blackish powder contains uh, lithium, uh, nickel, manganese, and cobalt. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the elements that we are trying to extract. These are the ones that uh, need to go back into the you know the circular economy as we call right. it. Right. Uh, Oh, I can see it. This black mass that you see out here. Yes. This contains, uh, you know, basically the black powder mixed with a, a series of chemicals. They go through a process of, you know, uh, 
you can call it distillation where you know sep uh, you know sep uh, separate uh, elements are uh, you know separated into different sulfates mm -hmm. uh, so so yeah you have the nickel cobalt magnesium and uh, uh, lithium Oh, uh, you know, over there. elements in there. And then what happens over here? So this is the precipitation unit. Uh, you know, this is uh, just a, another step in the process, mm -hmm. um, wherein you know there's uh, more treatment happening, various chemical processes. Uh, after which it is you know, passed through these series of pipes. Mm -hmm. Come. These series of pipes, which will uh, take it through a filter press uh, unit. Okay, this too. Right? So those the series of filter press units is. Uh, where uh, you know the actual sulfates will come out and they go into this drum the blue drum that you see yeah and what you have out there that's that's graphite mm -hmm. and that's uh, some iron wow, waste purest. graphite can be used as fuel mm. and uh, yes iron waste is used by some micro units so post this process uh, what happens is the liquid from that drum I, i'll take a look at the liquid from that drum yeah from that drum it uh, goes to the third stage of the solvent extraction process mm -hmm. that is where uh, you know the all the elements finally come out in as separate units mm -hmm. here i am with mohammed who is a plant head hello can you please tell us about the solvent extraction process this is, this is the solvent extraction this is a usa technology this mm -hmm. is plant great plant is there this is one of the our plant mm -hmm. whatever it comes to the leach solution this yeah. impure solution here purified Mm -hmm. this is this is the first circuit another impurity is the here the scrubbing this is the scrubbing unit impurity water would pick up little bit ppm level this is the removing here right. what what about high uh, mn here stripping here the your main and the high acidity here the uh, stripping the mn this mn solution comes through the this storage tanks okay, ah, the, the, this is a storage tank okay. here to goes to the evaporator mm -hmm. this is the another section is there on similarly this is also another solvent extraction this is the only extract is the cobalt nickel everything same similarly same process is there this cobalt extraction this is the scrubbing impurity removing another is the stripping the stripping the cobalt surface liquid comes to the this is storage tank this storage tank to goes to another evaporator Please tell us about the quality control in the okay, factory. Okay, okay, okay. Now here we are major mainly dealing with the processing of LCM batteries. Right. In this processing, we have adopted this mechanical process mm -hmm. of separation for metallic elements, metallic parts like copper, aluminium, and iron. Other chemical process which we are adopting is hydrometallurgy to recover this cobalt, lithium, nickel, and manganese. from this right. black powder which is generated from the crushing of the batteries yes yes here our major is focus is on our quality of the product finished product right so we have a well equipped uh, quality control facility here mm -hmm. everything is there this is the atomic absorption spectrophotometer mm -hmm. which is very important machine for us all right here we can analyze each and every element present in our solution and in uh -huh. our process Right. So here mainly we are analyzing all our uh, incoming materials, mm -hmm. our in-process analysis, mm -hmm. and our finished products analysis mm -hmm. to maintain the quality and to achieve the quality which we desired in the market. So here we are analyzing each and every sample mm -hmm. from right from leaching to solvent extraction mm -hmm. to take the necessary actions if there are any deviations in the process. Yeah. So that final quality. of the product can be maintained mm. here are some we, uh, we have this uh, well qualified persons here to analyze the samples these are sample bottles mm -hmm. these are standards which they have to aspirate in the machine right in 2010 recycle karo was a paper waste collection and segregation company by 2013 they opened their first recycling unit in bara maharashtra where they would extract precious metals from the waste materials in 2019 they've established lithium battery processing unit and by 2022 they're planning on recycling automobiles so i'm here with alok who is a business development head 
Hi Alok. Hey Anna. So Alok, as you know, there are not so many EV vehicles out there in India yet. Mm -hmm. So why are you guys focusing on that already? Well, I would say we are preparing for the future. Uh, so as you see the trend, I mean currently in the US and UK, the Western market, the electric vehicle adoption is quite high. Yeah. Now that trend has started coming over here as well. The infra is being put, in, put up by in, in place by the government as well as the private sector where the EV vehicle sales is going to go up very high. Right. Now when that happens, the batteries which are going to be not usable after some time, they need to be recycled because in those batteries you have very high cost, costly I mean, uh, metals like nickel, lithium, right, yeah. like so those need, that need, they need to be extracted and they need to be reused. All right. So what we have done is we take a proactive approach and have set up a factory, especially for I mean, uh, the batteries are going to come out let's say in two to three years time, mm -hmm. you'll be well ahead of time prepared to be able to extract these I mean, very useful minerals or uh, metals yeah. out of these uh, batteries. Mm -hmm. So that's why basically it puts us ahead of the game from anyone else and as we are one of the first companies uh, company in India to have I mean, facility like this. So I mean, uh, that's what the plan is. So uh, as you've just said that you guys are already gearing up for the future. Mm -hmm. So what is happening in the factory right now? How are you sustaining it? Uh, well, thanks for asking. Uh, currently, I mean, I'm very proud to say, I mean, uh, we have already broken even. I mean, the amount of work that is coming our way has, I mean, increased many fold. I mean, with the laptop batteries, with the mobile gadgets, I mean, the usage of that has increased in the last few years many fold. And all those batteries basically, because, I mean, uh, these producers of laptops and uh, mobiles, I mean, they have to, because of the new rule which has come in, yeah. has come in called EPR, because of that, they have to be responsible to that EPR role mm -hmm. and bring those uh, harmful, I mean, uh, batteries to recycling. Mm -hmm. And with that, our business, I mean, has been kept growing and we're able to, I mean, uh, sustain ourselves very well. Hello, Rajiv. Hi. Please tell us, how is it you are different from other global recycling companies? The quality. Our quality is achieved 99 plus of cobalt sulfate. We are using a solvent extraction process. So for that process, we are getting a very good quality of product. All right. High standards. Yeah, high standards. So tell me, Suraj, are you proud that you are the first and only company in India like this? Of course, we are proud. Uh, we are the first company in India to recycle lithium and batteries. In, you, can, you can see the lithium. Lithium is a white factor. Mm -hmm. And India doesn't have natural resources for lithium, cadmium, right. and nickel. So it's necessary for India or for us to re recycle these matters and provide it to back to our industry. Right. Now India is going towards EV vehicles. And the, as per the government policies, uh, if we have to go to, for the EV vehicles, then we need this uh, rare earth metals. Mm -hmm. And these near, uh, rare earth metals will only come from either mining or recycling mm -hmm. or oh, India is not a resource of these metals so we recycle it and we recycle it for the betterment of India as well as world. <laughs>